Gauss, as a young man, was obviously rather precocious. He grew up to be a great mathematician, but evidently when he was in elementary grade, he was perhaps a little lazy and a little precocious. His teacher had gotten frustrated with the class, and she gave them the assignment to add all the numbers from 1 to 100 to find the sum of the first 100 numbers. And so the kids got busy. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. On and on. In about two minutes, Gauss walked up to his teacher's desk and put his, his paper down and started to walk away. And she went, oh, no, 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 no. You were to add the first 100 numbers. And he said, I did. And he figured out that if he took the first and last number and added them together, 1 plus 100 is 101. And then 2 plus 99 is 101. 3 plus 98 is 101. 4 plus 97 is 101. All he had to do is to figure out how many pairs there were. And he took a few minutes to figure out how many pairs and multiplied it by 101, and he had the sum. And hence came a great mathematical formula that the sum of the first n integers is n times the quantity n plus 1 divided by 2. So he created a formula in about the third or fourth grade just out of necessity because he didn't want to do all that addition. And so he looked for a pattern. And that's, that's what mathematics is about, is looking for patterns and looking for ways to describe situations and define them mathematically so that you don't have to do all that drudgery of adding numbers plus numbers plus numbers. So that's, that's the fun part of mathematics. This story of Gauss is perfect for showing that, that, that mathematics forms for us smart shortcuts. That's really what mathematics, a part of mathematics is, is finding a way to describe things in the real world mathematically and then using that mathematics as a shortcut.